Good morning. I am uh, going to head out to the range this morning to do a couple of reviews on uh, uh, two different guns. One of them is the CZ P09, and it's in the 40 caliber. And I'll tell you something about guns. Guns are like everything else in life. You get a compromise. You, uh, If you want a gun that's small enough to carry comfortably, it's probably going to give up some capacity and some stopping power. If you want high capacity and a lot of stopping power, you're going to give up a little bit of comfort when you carry the gun. That's why I just don't think there's one gun that does everything. Now, that being said, I'm looking for a gun to use here in the shop. It will not be a carry gun. I, I carry a small 380, but I also want a gun that's staged in the shop, uh, higher capacity and stronger stopping power. And uh, I own a lot of guns, I'm blessed, but this is one that caught my eye. I've, I've always been a big fan of the CZ product. They've always been super reliable. They've, uh, they've always uh, been very friendly to different types of ammunition. They feed well. Uh, they're, they're a durable gun. You know, if you drop them or bang them, uh, they don't seem to have much problem. I just think they're a good, very functional gun. And the P09 is not a very expensive gun. Um, I carry these in the shop, retail on it's 419, brand new 419.99, high capacity. I just don't see how you can beat that. I mean, in this day and age, $419 is not a tremendously expensive gun. But I want to show you this gun, and then I'll I'll come back with more comments after after I shoot it. I'll have a little better idea about it. It comes with two magazines comes with two additional back straps plus the one that's on it. I assume that's the standard small, medium, large for different size hands. I have a fairly good size hand, but I have shot so many guns over the years that really the back strap size to me doesn't make a huge difference. Obviously, some fit me better than others. That's, that's a feature that's a lot more critical to some people than it is to, to other people. comes with a cleaning kit, a uh, little rag rod, and... Um, and a brush. It's the, uh, you know, just the small plastic cleaning rod with the hole in it for the patches. Uh, it also comes with something I think is a phenomenal feature, although I probably won't use it, but it comes with an additional safety included with it so that you can convert this gun from a, uh, a hammerback decocker style carry where you would carry it ready for double action first mode to a gun that can be carried cocked and locked. I don't like cocked and locked for defensive carry. I think it requires a massive amount of training. No doubt for the people that train with it diligently and use it all the time as their carry gun, it is a great system. It's fast, it's safe when you're properly trained. Uh, it gives you a tremendous trigger with the first shot on. The trigger doesn't change. Where with the, the, the hammer style gun like this with double single action, you have a much longer, harder first pull, and then after that it goes into a single action. Um, I, I think the Cockton Lock 1911 style carry or the Browning High Power style carry is great for people, like I say, who are dedicated to that. If if you're willing to train with it all the time and, and you're willing to put yourself in stress situations by shooting against a stopwatch at, at plates or competing in matches so that under an adrenaline burst you're able to control that pistol, great. Uh, I personally just don't think it's the best system. Let me, let me just kill that phone. Sorry about that. I'm not open yet, so it's not anything. It's not anything that I need to answer. I'm sure it's some robo sales call. Um, like I say, I, I think that there, there's a place for both. But to me, uh, for the average person or a person like me that shoots a lot of different guns, cocked and locked is not the best system for carry. Thus, I also believe it's not the best system for me to have in a staged gun around here. Uh, I don't believe that it's a dangerous method. I just don't believe that it's right unless you train with it and, and make it 
your your default go to every gun's the same type uh, setup. Um, this gun in 40, it comes with two mags and they're they're 15 round capacity. Um, check this again. I know I did, but I just I just like to do that. So I, don't, I, I get a lot of comments about how I'll cover my hands with the muzzle or something, and I know that. That's why I check them a lot. Um, you know, I don't have the best gun habits in the world. I'm not coming on here telling you I'm the best at gun handling or anything. So I'm not telling you to emulate the way I handle a gun. Uh, but I do think it's a good idea to get into the habit of continually checking the gun every time you set it down and pick it up, hand it back and forth. I think it, it can only help. Uh, anyway, this is a polymer frame gun. It's not a, not a super heavy gun, but it's certainly not a lightweight. It has a, a very nice Picatinny rail on it, and I'll pull it up here. I think it's a good looking gun. Um, very classic and very good looking gun. It, um, you know, you could put a light or a laser or a light laser combo on here. Uh, I'm a big fan of a white light for any home defense gun. The laser, I think it's nice. I have one on mine. It's a light and laser combo, but I think the light's critical. It allows you to illuminate without having to tie up both hands. Anyway, I'll be back after I shoot this gun with some, some more in-depth thoughts on, on it and whether I'm going to use it as a service pistol or not. The uh, CZ P09 in 40 Smith & Wesson. Soft shooter for 40. It really is. I like 40. That was uh, about 27 rounds, no malfunctions. First time I've shot the gun. I think I missed a couple. I'm at about, oh, 12 yards, maybe 10 to 12 yards. Um, an incredible soft shooter. I, I'm amazed. The 40 a lot of times a pretty snappy gun, but this is a soft shooter. I'm gonna shut the camera off, run a few more through it, and then I'll come back on, probably shoot it once more before I put it up. Okay, I'm down to where about the end on the uh, CZ here. I've shot it about all I'm going to shoot it, but I've got about 20 rounds left. I'm going to run through it just one more time. So far, I haven't had one single malfunction. I've shot it. Greg shot it. Uh, heck of a gun. Very reliable and, like I say, an incredibly soft shooter. I think that was, oh, 20 rounds or so. I'm not exactly sure. I, I didn't count them when I loaded them. But again, no malfunctions. Haven't had one all day. It's a right out of the box gun. Did nothing to it except uh, put a little oil on it and uh, bring it out here and start shooting it. Shooting Winchester, white box. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, full metal jacket, kind of a flat tip. But yeah, no feeding issues at all. Ran a little bit of self-defense ammo through it. Anyway, I'm gonna pack it up on it and call it good. But this thing is a, uh, it's a tremendous gun and I think it's a value. It's, it's really not a very expensive gun either. All right, I'm back. What a great gun. Um, 
I tell you, the CZP09 was uh, quite, quite a pleasant surprise. I tell you, like I say, good looking gun, good, solid, big, uh, polymer frame, good, uh, good uh, grooves, cocking grooves on the slide, nice frame, good stippling, uh, adjustable back straps, high capacity, soft shooter, accurate. Uh, super reliable. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about it, and especially for a gun in this price range. I tell you, every gun has its place and its purpose, and this is not a gun I would recommend for concealed carry. It's not small. It's, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be easy to hide. It's not going to be light, but it's a great gun if you want a full-size, you know, outside the waistband carry, or if you especially you want a gun to stage at your house or at your business, someplace like that. I think this gun is a bargain. I really do. I, I think that it's a great gun. I think it'll fill the bill for you. The 40 caliber costs a little more to practice with, a little more recoil, but you gain some stopping power. And in this gun, you don't give up the capacity, which is so critical with the small ones. Uh, I mean, the 40 is, you know, one of the biggest problems I have with it in a small gun is it has an almost unmanageable recoil, but another big problem is you give up a lot of capacity, and, and um, you know, I think there is an advantage to the stopping power, but at the same time, I don't ever want to find myself out of ammo and, and you know, in a, in a situation where a couple more rounds could make the difference. Anyway, um, I, I'm going to do a video one of these days on why I prefer the different styles of guns like the striker fired versus the, the hammer type guns, the revolvers versus the semi-autos. I just, I'm trying to get back into more videos. I appreciate everybody that stuck with me uh, when I took some time off. Um, I um, went probably a year and a half or so there without making a video, but I've just had so much going on with the new store and um, a lot of other things. I, I kind of went on a diet, tried to lose a little weight. That took up a lot of time too. But anyway, I appreciate it. I'll be back on with some more. Um, I've got a review coming up on that Honor Defense Honor Guard. That's another tremendous gun. Completely different gun than this. Smaller, striker fired. Um, more like the M&P Shield. Anyway, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys watching my videos.